Okay, I'm going to sh go over as quickly as possible, because you can pause it, uh, how to visualize the electric field due to a point charge. Okay, this is actually based on a problem from the book, but I've changed it a little bit just so it's more interesting. Um, okay, so here I have a charge of 4 times to the negative 9 coulombs, or 4 nano coulombs, and then this is my electric constant. Um, I'm just going to jump into Python. Uh, I've already talked about it some in class, so uh, let's put a comment right here. Uh, coulombs, and this is K is in Newton meters squared per coulomb squared, just to make everyone happy. Uh, so here's the location of the charge as a comment, and then some notes just so I can write down. Okay, so let's make the charge. Um, so let's say Q1, and it's an object of sphere. I'm just going to run it, just like that. So just making this object sphere, it, it does it right there. You can see, and I can rotate this around uh, by right clicking and I can zoom in and out and there's my sphere. But I can also give it parameters like the position. So I'm going to type in here the position of there. It's vector negative uh, 0.05, uh, 0, 0. And I need a radius too. If I don't put a radius, it's going to be a radius of 1. I don't want a radius of 1. That's going to be too big. So let's say uh, radius equals 0 0.01. That might be too big. Uh, let's put make it red. And the nice thing I like to do is, you know, save this and run it uh, after each little step to make sure things are working. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make this 0 0.5, half as big. And a little bit smaller, too. Okay. Now, uh, I want to find the electric field at this location up here. So let's just make that, um, let's call this RQ point. I don't know. I just want to call something different. Uh, so let's call this R1. That's the location that I want to find the electric field. So let's say that's a vector of negative 0 0.05, 0 0.040. 0. And just so you know, I can print that vector just to make sure things are working. There it is right there. And, and no units. Okay, so how do I find the electric field at that location? So the first thing I need to know is the vector r from the point to the point of observation. So I will call that, um, let's call it r. I, I'm going to regret this. but So if you think about uh, r, as a vector from the point charge to that location, then it would be final minus initial. This would be R1 minus the vector location of the point, which is going to be Q point dot POS. And let's just print that out to make sure it's working. So there's my, and, and we can do that in our head, right? There's that location. They both have the same x value. This one's 0.4 above it. So that is indeed working. So we're, that's good, right? Um, okay. Next thing we need to do. Uh, I do need the magnitude of R because this is my equation. Uh, e equals K times Q divided by R squared. right? That's it. But I need it as a vector. So I need two things. I need uh, R hat, the unit vector for R, and that's just norm R. I don't even actually have to do that. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do it. I need the magnitude. R mag equals magnitude of R. Now I can calculate E, E equals K times Q times R hat divided by uh, R mag squared. And remember squared in Python is star star. And let's print out that electric field and let's see to make sure things are working. Okay, you can do that, you could do this manually and check to make sure that's right, but I think that's okay. Okay, now we want to visualize that. So what I'm going to do is to create an arrow. I'll call it E arrow equals an object of arrow. And I need to determine the position and the axis. So the position is going to be at R1. So R1 is a vector, so I can just say R1 just like that. The axis is the vector from the beginning of the arrow to the end of the arrow. So that's just going to be uh, E. But if I do that, it's going to be something times 10 to the fourth, which is too big. 
because we're plotting it in space. So I'm actually going to multiply this by e scale, which I have up here. The, the book said use 2 times 10 negative 6. Let's just see if that works. Uh, and then if we want, we can give it a color. I always like yellow. I don't know why. And let's run that. So there, so it looks like it's working. I have a positive charge. The electric field is pointing away. And yes, this is in 3D. You can rotate it around. Uh, so that looks good. So there's my electric field. Uh, I can move this to a different location. So let's say I put this at um, 0.3. Everything should work. See, there it is. Check that out. Now, what if I want to make another arrow? Uh, I can redo the same thing. I could just say R2 equals vector uh, 0 0.04, 0 0.04, 0, and so forth, and redo the whole process and just make E arrow 2 and so forth. And you can make as many arrows as you want. That's one way to do it, uh, but this is just an introduction to making these points and these arrows in order to calculate the electric field uh, using Python. And this is not a numerical calculation, but we will get to that later. Oh, don't worry. It's going to be awesome.